Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, being here, and today I'm coming at you, well this is just the intro, with a vlog, which I haven't done in a hot minute, um, but I'm coming at you with a reading vlog for Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. I've heard nothing but wonderful things about this book, and I am so excited to read it. I don't know how long it's going to take me, I'm thinking maybe like two-ish days uh yeah so i'm just gonna hop right into it i got some footage and i do give my thoughts every so often in there so let's just hop into it Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I probably already said that in a voiceover actually. It is Tuesday, I think. Yes, it's Tuesday. And I apparently have very little voice today, but anyways, it's also like 11.30 and for me that's pretty late. I don't usually stay up this late. Um, I'm becoming an old person. But I am in the process and I was having a hard time putting down Priory of the Orange Tree. I'm like a little over a quarter of the way through this book already, probably closer to a third of the way through this book. It's really good, but it's so dense. Like this is a super dense story and it's taking a lot for me to read it. Like it takes a lot of time, which I'm honestly just not very used to as far as books go. But I'm very excited and I absolutely love this book. There's, I believe, four different, there's about four different storylines going on right now, but I absolutely love this world that Samantha Shannon has built up, um, and this book, I can already tell you right now with where it's at, it's going up there with Name of the Wind and The Hobbit as far as dense books that take a while for me to read, but I absolutely end up loving, so... As of right now, can't, I can't recommend this book enough, and I'm going to be rereading this indefinitely, for sure. I'm sure I'm missing so much the first time through. There's just so much in here, and it's... But I'm able to, I'm able to keep it straight without too much of a problem. It's just... Oh, there's so much going on. There's so much fantasy, and there's dragons, and there's all these creatures, and there's magic... And, oh, I love it. This is, it's wonderful. It's just a wonderful book, guys. It really is. But 
I will talk to you guys later. I'm going to go to bed. I also have downloaded the audiobook, so I'm going to listen to this at work tomorrow. Um, because we're just doing inventory, so that just requires me matching numbers, which is fine. I don't really need to think too hard for that. So I'll be able to hopefully, we'll see, I'll hopefully be able to listen to the audiobook while reading this. And I'd like to get close to finishing it tomorrow. So, yeah, we shall see. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, bye. Alright, so when I originally started this vlog, I had planned on updating every 200 pages. And then I got to like page 400 and I was like, that's, that's just not going to happen. So I ended up just kind of binging it. And what I can say is that this book was incredible. It was amazingly well done. It was well written. It was beautiful. And you'll excuse me, I'm just getting dinner right now. Um, okay, dinner. And it just honestly, it was stunning. And I absolutely loved this book. And I loved everything about it for the most part. But I think the only thing that bothered me about it, it still got a 5 out of 5. I think the only thing that really bothered me about it is the fact that it was so dense and so much happened that it felt like it could, like it could have been two books and would have been just as good. But I also see where that wouldn't have worked. So I'm kind of like on the fence about that. But even though there are four and at times five different storylines that still like didn't feel like too much, I guess. So that was good. That was awesome. And honestly, this book just, oh, it was stunning. It really like, it was really something else that I'm, I haven't really read something like this in a very long time. And It'll definitely go down with, like, Name of the Wind as a book that I would love to reread, like, every other year. Probably not every year, but every other year, I know, um, just because it's such a dense book. And it's got this whole different type of magic system, and this... It's a very political book, so if you're not big on politics, I can't recommend it very well, because this is a very political book. But it's amazingly... Excuse me, it's amazingly well done. You'll have to forgive the terrible lighting here. But... It's amazingly well done. It is gorgeous. It is... There's gay love everywhere, and it's it's definitely an adult book. Don't think it's not. It is definitely an adult book with all the different adult content and the um, blood, guts, and gore, because there is a war. There is a battle. Um, there are several battles, actually. There's many fights. Um, and we have several different storylines going on, and I don't want to talk about them, but they all end up intertwining, and the way they intertwine is just absolutely amazing. And I do like the fact that, like, yeah, is that so? Is that so, Lena? You can't have my food, honey. Do you want to come say hi? You want to come say hi? Yeah. Is that so? You don't want to be filmed? No. That's what I thought. <laughs> this is Lana. Yes. First time she's spoken on, on camera. But anyways, the book is wonderful. It's huge, but it deserves every page. There is nothing in that book that was unnecessary. Which is amazing because there's a lot in that book and a lot happens. But nothing in it was unnecessary which is absolutely amazing and I love that they embrace the different types of personalities anyone can have from um you can have big tough guys to sensitive males you have the same for females and it's kind of amazing that they like are able to do you you do that and it fits into this world and <sighs> I like this book a lot so all right Lana and I are gonna have dinner but yeah, so that's what I got for you guys here today. Um, and now I think I'm going to go do an outro as well. So I know this isn't a long vlog, but I did plan on filming more. But um, I actually had a tough time putting this book down. I did listen to the audiobook for quite a bit of it because I listened to it at work. But I couldn't stop listening to it. Like there's some audiobooks that I'll actually stop because I'm not interested I'm not captivated and this one I just wanted to constantly listen to and it was amazing 
and I can't recommend it enough. Even the audiobook was very well done, although some of the voices I do think um, affected how I saw the characters, if that makes sense. So, yeah. All right, I'm being bugged now, so I'm going to head out, but yes, we'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, end of the video. I did it, I, I did the thing. It took me longer than I thought it would, and this is definitely a very dense book. Um, it took me four days to read, actually. Just, just for the 800 pages that it is, um, I'm a little surprised, honestly, it took me that long, but I absolutely loved this book. And you heard all my thoughts in the vlog, but I absolutely love this book. So, yes, that's what I have for you guys here today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more vlogs like this, let me know down in the comments down below. And until next time, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, now is the perfect time to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe. We post videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and the occasional Sundays. And if you want to be reminded when we post these videos, hit the little bell icon down below. Until next time, guys, stay safe, stay healthy, and keep reading. Bye!